Inside the view, you can easily customize the workspace to set in a way you like to preview. So for example, right here we look before, we can switch your um, size of the view so you can have a top size, you can have it a front view or for example a side view. So right here you can customize your views how you like it. But beside customization of views inside the viewport, you also can customize how and where all this windows located. To do this, you need to go to the side and you can see right here two arrows. You can right click and notice that we have it lock workspace. You also can use it control alt W or command alt W on a Mac. If we click this, it will unlock our interface. And now you can see we have it everywhere those kind of dotted areas. So it's meaning we can modify, we can change. So for example, if I want to go take this object and add the aspect, I can drag and you can see how it's changed now. So it's allowed me to move around and place wherever I want it. So if I want to put in this window, I can go put it on the side or I can create as a tab. You can see right here, one small. So let's go just to put it as a second. And you see right here, I have it a view now in this window, top view, and I have it my properties. So if I remove it and I put as a tab, so right here, I have it my object and my top view. So it's switchable as a tabs, which is very nice because you can set materials or other editors and you can place them instead of floating object. So example, let's go to object, click back. And for example, if I go home, I'll place it back right where it was before. This way you can create and positioning all different bars. Same you can see right here, we have this bar. I can actually go on the bottom and maybe place below. I can rearrange my bar. I can rearrange my top bar, um, adjusting in a way I like it flow. So this is kind of up to you, but let's say what's happening if I mess up. So for example, right here, I put my front right here and I just went and kind of mess up with my desktop, with my layout. Sometimes you experiment and you don't want to um, kind of get lost. So for example, right here, it's look weird and hard to restore it. If you do anything, you can always come back, which is kind of nice. You go to display workspaces and look what we have. We have a lock workspace. We also have our default and we can save and load workspace. So you can create one workspace that specifically just to edit materials and with your layout and you can save this workspace, name it edit materials or work uh, animation or other things. And after this, you can save them and preload it very fast. So you don't need to rearrange your windows. But again, if for some reason you as you're playing around, you did it, you always can come back, click default workspace, and you can see right here, we have it kind of gone back to our space that we have it before. So you can always modify, play around and see it. Uh, one thing, if your workspace was unlocked, notice it still be unlocked. Personally, I do like keep it my um, workspace locked. So I accidentally don't click when I go with mouse accidentally drag and pull placed on wrong place my windows. So usually I lock as I'm working and unlock only in a time when I need to rearrange or create a brand new um, type of workspace, they can use it in my work. Then anytime when you work and we mentioned this before, if you want just temporary, for example, view this one, by pressing Alt Enter, this is will go full mode, so you can have an increased size and view of your window. This is default for the Windows command, and also if you want just a maximize just specific window, you can go click Maximize. In this case, you will have a just one view. Again, we covered this in previous um, tutorial, but just remember, so you don't need necessary go and um, scale them you can do this if you want it but if you want just temporary just go maximize preview 
and again we can restore it but overall adjust um, your work flow your work uh, space in a way that it suit you more for the purpose of these tutorials I will keep it my workspace preset to the default so it's kind of easy for you to see and follow this tutorial so you don't need it um, kind of be confused by positioning and this is what I recommend for you as well as we're going through the tutorials just know you can modify the preset or you can modify your workspace but just try to keep it by default for now so you can easy follow up with the tutorials on the screen Thank you.